Hello everyone. Welcome back to Oceanography. In the last session, we were discussing on the bottom relief of Atlantic Ocean. Today, we will be discussing the largest ocean of the world, that's the Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean of the world, covering an area of approximately 165.7 million square kilometers. Together with its associated seas, it covers about one third of the total area of Earth's surface. It is also the oldest, the coldest and the deepest ocean in the world. The name Pacific denotes pacify or beautiful. The name of the ocean was coined by the Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan in 1520 as he sailed through the calm patches of water on the ocean. Pacific Ocean is surrounded by North America on the northeast, South America on the southeast, Asia to the northwest and Australia on the southwest. The Pacific Ocean stretches from the shores of Antarctica to the Bering Strait through 135 degree of latitude which is around 15,500 kilometers. Its greatest longitudinal extent measures around 19,000 kilometers along 5 degree north between the coast of Colombia in South America and the Malay Peninsula in Asia. In the Northern Hemisphere, the Pacific Ocean meets the Arctic Ocean in the Bering Sea. In the Southern Hemisphere, the Pacific and the Atlantic Ocean mix in a relatively narrow Drake Passage between Tierra del Fuego and Graham Land. The separation between the Pacific and the Indian Ocean is less distinct, but it is generally considered to lie along the line of islands extending eastward from Sumatra through Java to Timor and then across the Timor Sea to Cape Londonderry in Australia. The portion of the Pacific Ocean near Antarctica is sometimes considered to be the part of Southern Ocean. Overall, the Pacific Ocean appears to be like a broad triangle in shape when it is considered from both hemispheres separately. Let's look into the geological formation of Pacific Ocean. It is believed that the Pacific Ocean is formed out of Pantalasa Ocean that surrounded the Pangaea landmass. The Pacific Ocean evolved from the Pantalasic Ocean that was first formed 250 million years back with the rifting apart of Rodinia Island. The first ocean flow was the current Pacific Plate which was produced around 160 million years ago and then it was extended to the west of the Central Pacific and subsequently developed into the largest oceanic plate on the earth. The floor of the Pacific Ocean like those of other oceans is actually very flat even in areas having sea mounts or deep trenches. The vast sediment covered abyssal plain of the oceans are much flatter than any similar sized areas on the continents. The main features of the Pacific Ocean floor are the continental slopes that drops from about 200 meter to several thousand meters over a distance of few hundred kilometers. The ocean floor is almost or entirely underlined by the mafic ocean crust. Most of the seafloor parts exceeds 5000 meter deep. The average depth of the Pacific Ocean floor is considered to be 4280 meters. There are two continental margins for the Pacific Ocean, namely the western margin and the eastern margin. The eastern Pacific Shelf is less broad when compared to the western shelf. 
The shelves are very broad and extensive along the eastern coast of Australia and Asia, where the width will vary from 160 to 1600 kilometers and the depth ranges between 1000 to 2000 meters. The continental shelves are very less extensive along the western coast of America because of the presence of Cordillian a chain of fold mountains to the coastal lands. Here, the average width is only 80 km. The Pacific Ocean does not have mid-oceanic ridge like Atlantic or Indian Ocean. It has only few scattered ridges of local importance. The most interesting feature of the Pacific Ocean is the East Pacific Rise, also known as Albatross Plateau. The East Pacific Rise is 1600 km wide and a depth of 3600 to 4000 meter. Its northernmost point begins from the north of the mouth of Gulf of California and continues in a west southwesterly direction as the Pacific Antarctic Ridge and reaches to the south of New Zealand. In the diagram, you can see the extension of the East Pacific Rise from the north of Gulf of California towards the south of New Zealand. The central parts of the Pacific Ocean, you can see the Hawaiian swell. It is around 2000 meter deep. The Hawaii and the Honolulu Islands are located here. Towards the west of the New Zealand, you can see Chatham Rise. The other significant features are the New Zealand Ridge, the Fiji Plateau and the New Guinea Rise. Pacific Ocean is known for several ocean basins and most of these basins are separated by ridges and rises. Let's look into some of the important basins of Pacific Ocean. The Philippine Basin is located to the east of Philippines and extends from south of Japan to 5 degree north latitude. Here the average depth ranges from 5000 to 6000 meters. The Fiji Basin is located to the south of Fiji Island between 10 degrees south and 32 degrees south latitudes and an average depth of 4000 meters. The basin to the north of 20 degrees south is known as North Fiji Basin and the South Fiji Basin lies between 20 degree to 30 degree south latitudes. The East Australian Basin is situated between the east coast of Australia and New Zealand Ridge with average depth of more than 5000 meters. The South Australian Basin is located to the southeast of Australia with an average depth of 5000 meters. The Southwest Pacific Basin is an elongated basin stretching between 20 degree and 50 degree south latitudes and between 80 to 129 degree west longitudes. The Southeast Pacific Basin is located to the southwest of Chilean coast and Peru coast between 40 degree to 60 degree south latitudes and it extends up to 130 degree west longitude. Pacific Ocean is characterized by deep and elongated ocean trenches. These trenches are located either along the island arcs or near to volcanic mountain chains. So far, 32 deeps or trenches has been found in ocean. Most of these trenches are concentrated along the western and the central parts of the ocean. Pacific Ocean is the only ocean known to have with double trenches. Let's look into some of the important ocean trenches of the Pacific Ocean. Tonga Trench is found at the northern end of the Kermadak Tonga subduction zone. It stretches for a distance of 2500 kilometers 
from the north of the New Zealand island to the northeast of the island of Tonga. It is measured that the deepest point of the Tonga Trench is 10.882 km depth. The Philippine Trench is located in the Philippine Sea running 1320 km length and 30 km wide towards the east of Philippines. The Galatia Deep in the Philippine Trench is 10.54 km below the sea level. It is believed that the trench has been formed due to the collision between the Eurasian plate and the smaller Philippine plate. In the diagram, you can see the Philippine Trench towards the east of the Philippine Island. Coral Trench lies close to the Coral Island and off the coast of Kamchatka Peninsula. The Japan Trench is located to the east of Japanese island arcs. This trench is a part of Pacific Ring of Fire in the Northern Pacific Ocean with a maximum depth of 9 kilometers. And the most important one is the Mariana Trench towards the south of the Mariana Island. This trench is considered to be the deepest part of the Earth's surface. This appears as a crescent-shaped scar and the trench measures around 2550 km long and 69 km wide with a maximum depth of 11.034 km. The deep holes in the Mariana Trench were formed due to the collision of the converging plates of oceanic lithosphere. Pacific Ocean has more than 2,000 islands and most of them are at located in the continental shelf or runs parallel to the main island. The islands of the Pacific Ocean are divided into different categories. The continental islands consisting like Eleutian Island, British Columbia, Chilean Islands, etc. The island arcs consisting of Kuril Island, Japanese Archipelago, Philippine Island Arcs, the Indonesian Arc of Islands. The scattered islands are of three categories, the Micronesia, the Melanesia and the Polynesia. Micronesia are small and tiny islands like Gibbert Island, Caroline Island. The Melanesia consists of Solomon Island, Wifi Island and the Polynesia consists of Society Island and Cook Island. There are coral islands like Fiji Island and Funafote Island in Pacific Ocean. Besides these, there is a group of volcanic islands which is known as the Rim of Fire or the Ring of Fire. These are the major zones of volcanic and tectonic activity. Let's look into the marginal seas of the Pacific Ocean. The western margin of the Pacific Ocean is a fragmented area. As a result, there are a number of marginal seas on the western margin of Pacific Ocean, like Bering Sea, Sea of Japan, Yellow Sea, East China Sea, South China Sea and many others. There are only few important marginal seas found on the east part like Gulf of California, Sea of Colombia and Chilean Sea. These are some of the few ideas about the bottom morphology of Pacific Ocean. I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you and have a great time ahead.